blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Free your mind. Breathe. Just breathe. All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. Namaste, beautiful creators. And welcome to today's Matrix 3D to 5D transition sequence. I'm super excited to present this one to you guys because I've been working really hard on trying to make sure that this would be understandable for most of you. Because a lot of us, we just, we don't realize the potential that we have within ourselves to create a harmonious existence. And to not have to deal with all the stress and fear and all that negative mentality. That stuff is of the three dimension. So before we start, I just want to give you a little brief introduction to what the 3D and the 5D is. 3D matrix is basically the fear matrix. It's the matrix, the programming of fear, worry, stress, anxiety, depression, fight, conflict, you know, separation. That is the 3D matrix. The 5D matrix, which is what we're transitioning to, is the, is the matrix of love. It's the unity. It's the realization that this is all an illusion. The realization that this is all just a projection of our own consciousness. Everything is all connected. It's all intertwined as energy, experiencing itself through multiple forms. So when you when you start to transition to the five d d dimension, you start to realize that you are a part of that love, that unity, that oneness. And when you come into that state, that five dimensional state, you stay in a state of joy and tranquility. So now, let's go ahead and start off today's practice with three ohms. Um. Bring awareness to your breath. Just be grateful for today. Be grateful for this new year, this new you that you are now about to welcome in. This connection to love, to light, to unity. I now gently open your eyes. Now we're going to start today's practice with a mantra. This mantra is Aham Prima. This stands for I am divine love. Because you are divine love. We are all divine love. So let's go ahead and start. So we go and go Aham Prima. Aham Prima. Aham Prima. Aham Prima Aham Prima A little bit more joyful here Aham Prima Aham Prima Two more, really feel the energy Aham Prima Aham Prima Aham now gently bring your awareness back to your breath. And now we're going to say one incantation for today. I am pure loving awareness. 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 One more. With enthusiasm, I am pure loving awareness. I am pure loving awareness. All right, now we're going to get into our pranayama technique for today. So today we're going to be doing kapalabhati, which is also known as breath of fire, which is going to be rapid exhales through the nose only. And on each inhale, you just let it lightly come in. And so you're going to be focusing on your belly 
If you need to, you can place your hands on your belly. That way you'll feel it as you push the air out. So on each exhale, rapid exhales through the nose only, visualizing sending the energy up. And then we're gonna do that for two rounds and we're gonna do 15 breaths. Kapalabhati in three, two, one. Focus on the top of your head. Rapid exhales through the nose only. Double speed. Three, two, one, fully in. Squeeze and hold. Spin the energy up. And exhale. <sighs> Releasing. Next round. In three, two, one. Rapid exhales through the nose only. Double speed. Five, four, three, two, one. Fully in. Squeeze and hold. If you know about your bandhas, go ahead and unlock your bandhas. Push up your perineum. Send the energy up. Focus on top of your head. And release. <sighs> and now we're going to move into Katikartasana. Katikartasana is where you, you, you can stand. So you can do it standing or sitting, whichever you prefer. So we'll just do sitting since you guys are already sitting. Now you're going to twist and you're going to tap your chest with each hand and, on, and do rapid exhales through the nose only each time that you twist. So like follows, it goes... So you're going to do 15 Katikotasana. This is really great. We're loosening up our spine, getting our Kundalini energy awakened. Katikotasana in 3, 2, 1. Back to center. Take another deep breath in and release. All right, the next breath work technique we're going to do is chair breath followed by shoulder breath. Chair breath we're going to utilize to release whatever's not serving you. And so for today, as a collective, we are going to choose to release the 3D fear matrix. We're going to choose to release anything that is not of our highest good. So visualize in your mind's eye a fire in front of you. And now you're on each rapid exhale through the nose only, you're gonna push out that energy. Just visualize, be so happy as you're doing it. You're gonna be throwing away whatever's not serving you. So we're gonna start chair breath in three, two, one. Really throw it away. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Now that we just cleared some space, we're gonna now welcome in all the great energy, the 5D energy, the, the energy of love, the energy that unites us all of oneness. So let's, let's, let's all together as a collective welcome in oneness, love, unity. So inhale your arms up high, and now on each exhale, you're gonna bring your hands down to your shoulder, rapid exhales through the nose only. In three, two, one, shoulder breath. Bring a smile to your face. Keep visualizing, bringing that good energy in. Five, four, three, two, one. Fully in. And now exhale, bring the energy down into you. Into your heart center. 
All right, now we're going to move on to Bastrika Pranayama. Bastrika Pranayama is a full inhale through the nose and a full exhale out the nose. And if you're not able to do it through your nose today, you can switch to your mouth. So this one is a full inhale and a full exhale, expanding our belly, allowing us to reach our full lung capacity, and then exhaling, allow it all to let go. And you're going to do that for 10 breaths, and we're going to do two, two rounds. Vastrika Pranayama in three, two, one. Three more. Last one, fully in. Squeeze and hold, focus on top of your head. Send the energy up. Lock down your perineum. And release with a big exhale in three, two, one. Exhale. <sighs> Now hold here with empty lungs for 30 seconds. And just feel what's going on within your body, what's going on within this reality that you're currently experiencing. We'll take our full breath in, in three, two, one, fully in. And exhale. <sighs> allowing us to release all tension. Second round, Kalabati, or in three, two, one. Exhale, pulling in. Exhale, pulling in. Exhale, pulling in. Feel free to close your eyes, exhale, pull in, exhale, five more, pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, last one, pull in. Focus on top of your head, send the energy up. Flex your perineum, flex your lower abdominals. Focus in on our third eye. And we'll release with a big exhale in three, two, one. <sighs> Now hold here for 30 seconds. We're going to welcome in guidance, love, and oneness into this exercise as we go about releasing what is no longer serving us throughout this practice. Not worried about what is in the past or what is in the future, just being here in this present moment. We'll take our full breath in, in three, two, one, fully in, and exhale. Now we're going to do Brahmari breath. This is also known as Bumblebee breath. Brahmari breath is great to be able to help relax you and to help get us released before we get into our yoga experience. You're going to just take a deep breath in and then you're going to release with a hum like this. Mm. We're going to do 10, 10 Brahmari breath in 3, 2, 1. Mm.
four more. Feeling the vibrations. One more fully in. And exhale, brown regret. Now take your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice as we're about to start. Bring your hands up to your forehead. We welcome in guidance, intuition, love, and the divine to awaken us and to allow us to become more as one, as we truly are, the love, the light. Bring your hands down to heart center. Take a deep breath in. And now when we release, take your hands up towards the ceiling. Releasing that out into the universe. Thank you so much, guys. Now it's time for our vinyasa flow. So go ahead and meet me at the top of your mat. reach up exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale high plank low plank chaturanga inhale up dog and exhale downward facing dog Getting in touch with our breath. Just really feeling ourselves being present here in this moment. Go ahead and pedal out your legs. This pose is great for our third eye chakra. So as we hold here, just focus on your third eye. Focus on your real eye, your original eye. And on your next breath, go ahead and hop or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, coming forward with your heart center. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Low chandaranda. Inhale up dog, bring the smile. And exhale downward facing dog. Getting back in touch with our Ujjayi breath now. The oceanic breath, almost as if you're fogging up a mirror, but with your mouth closed. Kind of like the Darth Vader breath. Inhale Ujjayi. Exhale Ujjayi. And on your next inhale, go ahead and walk your top to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Push back, downward facing dog. Just holding here for a couple moments. Welcoming in intuition and guidance and love. This is your practice. On your next inhale, go ahead and come to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up, chair pose. Uta Katasana. Sink a little lower in your legs. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Focusing on our third eye chakra, our Ajna chakra, as we hold here. Taking a deep Ujjayi breath into our third eye. And exhale. Ah. And on your next inhale, take your right foot to the top of your mat for warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Because that's what you are, you're a peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Taking your right forearm to your knee. Creating one line of energy. Warrior two. Interlace your hands behind your lower back and set your gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward, allowing your heart center to fully open. Feeling your feeling the, the loosening of your cartilage and your what? shoulders. Just feeling how good it feels to be here on your mat. Taking the time out of, for yourself. Okay, Warrior hold two. on, buddy. Hands to your mat, high there. plank. What are you trying to say? Low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. Ha. Ah. And on your next inhale, go ahead and walk your left foot to the top of your mat for warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. One line of energy. Holding chin mudra with your right hand. Warrior two. And now interlace your hands behind your lower back. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And hinge forward for humble warrior. Really feeling how good this feels on your shoulders, on your lower back. Digging a little deeper into your left knee. Activating your toes. Warrior two. Hands to your mat, high plank. Low plank. Inhale, up dog. Bring the smile. And exhale, downward facing dog. And now come back up to the top of your mat on your next inhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up, Uttakatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we'll hold here for a couple moments, getting back in touch with the Ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, inhale your right leg towards the ceiling. Exhale your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale right leg high. Exhale your right knee to your left elbow. Inhale right leg high. Exhale your right knee to your chin. Give yourself a little love, give yourself a kiss. Inhale right leg high. And now open your right hip. We're just going to do opening your hips right here and stack it over top of your left. And now, however is comfortable for you, go ahead and come over to side plank. Left hand down. Right hand towards the ceiling. And set your drishti, your gaze just past. And if you need to modify, you can place your left knee down onto your mat. Take your right foot towards the top of your mat. For crescent lunge. Bring your arms a little back, get a good lower back stretch. And exhale your hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. And exhale, twist to the right. Taking your left elbow down to your left knee. And if you need to modify, you can take your left hand down to the mat and take your right hand towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Hands to your mat, high plank. Low plank. Inhale, up dog. Bring the smile. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push back. Just being grateful for being in this present moment. Everything that you have ever went through in your life has brought you to who, where you are and who you are right now. But that is just your ego. That is not you. That's not the real you. Today we're going to be stripping that ego and we're going to be focusing on the real you. Take an inhale and take your left foot towards the ceiling. Exhale your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale left leg high. Exhale your left knee to your right elbow. Inhale left leg high. Exhale your left knee to your chin. Give it a little kiss. Inhale left leg high. And now stack your left hip over the right and just open it up a little bit. Open up your hips. Now take your right hand down to the mat for a side plank. Taking your left arm towards the ceiling, setting your drishti just a little bit, which is your center point of focus, just a little bit past your fingertips. Staying in contact with your breath. Deep breath in. And exhale. 
And remember, if you need a modifier, you can place your knee down on your mat. And now walk your left foot to the top of your mat for crescent lunge. And you're back a little bit more. Take your shoulders back. Exhale your hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. And now take a twist to your, to your left. Taking your right elbow to your left knee. For crescent lunge and twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Hands to your mat. High plank. And now we'll lower for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lay down on your, on your chest. And now we're going to set up for locust pose. So interlace your hands behind your lower back. And now push up off your foundation, allowing your chin to come off the ground and your feet to come off. And try to create a straight line. There you go. Yeah. Push up. This is really great for opening up your heart. We're getting into some heart openers here. And release. Bend both knees and grab the outsides of your feet and set up for floor bow. Push up, put, pushing off your foundation, really opening up your chest a little bit more, a little higher. This is really great for your spine. And release. Now, however, feels great for you. Go ahead and meet me on your back. I'm going to set up for bridge pose. So, interlace your hands behind your lower back as you take your feet shoulder width apart with your knees slightly bent and push up and interlace your hands for low bridge. See how good this pose feels. If you can, push a little higher. And release. Now we're going to move into happy baby. So go ahead and grab your feet from the outside. And lengthen your spine across your mat. Give yourself a little hug. And release, grabbing your knees, bringing them up to your chest, giving yourself some love. This is our new way of being. Our new way of being is love. So you're going to start loving yourself more. Just on this mat right here, you're starting to do it. You've given yourself so much love, so much joy. And release. Now, however it's comfortable for you, meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale your right leg towards the ceiling. Swing it through for Half Pigeon. Setting your foundation, allowing yourself to really get a good stretch in your lower back. Setting your gaze towards the ceiling. And now exhale, fold forward. Come down to your mat. You need, if you want to place your hands on a block or a bolster, you can. It's a really great hip opener as we are moving into the gratitude series, being grateful for being here today, grateful for all of you that are watching this in the replay. I thank you so much. You mean more to me than you realize. 
because we are all just one and I love you all I love everything you love everything because love is the answer release into this pose a little bit more downward facing dog Inhale your left leg towards the ceiling. Swing it through for half pigeon. Setting your foundation again. Allowing yourself to take your gaze towards the ceiling. Feel the lengthening of your spine. Now exhale, fold forward. Come down onto your forearms. If you feel like it, you can come down onto your forehead. allowing yourself to release into this pose whatever negative limited concepts or beliefs you may be holding we're now going to release them throughout this practice so whatever it is focus on one limited belief right now you would love to release let's say that's lack because lack is an illusion there is only abundance in all. You're abundant because you are one with the Creator. So release that limitation right here, right now, as we go a little deeper on an exhale. And now slowly we come back out into downward facing dog. Turn to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. And now gently rock backwards and land onto your butt. And we're gonna set up for shoulder stand. So go ahead and kick back and, bring, and support your lower back as you kick up towards the ceiling. This is a really great inversion pose. Turning the world upside down. That's the way that this, real, this world has been created. So much false illusions that we're all upside down. We think everything that we think is right is really the opposite. It's all a program, it's an illusion. We have the ability to free ourselves from this illusion and to see it the way that we should see it, which is the way of love. Hold it here for just a couple more seconds. And release. Coming into a counterbalance fish pose. Go ahead and shimmy onto the tops of your forearms. Set your crown on the mat. And open as you open your throat chakra, your heart chakra. This is a really good clearing pose. We're all in. We're all in to our lives, to our purpose. Whatever your purpose is, that is what you're meant to go after. Quit chasing money. Quit chasing, quit chasing the outside world and begin to chase your dreams. What really matters in your life. Because what matters is the, the impact that you bring onto this reality before you go. Because we're all going to go. That's the only thing that promised in this life is that we're all going to die. So you might as well face that and realize that you're, you're eternal. You're not this being, this, this ego, this persona. We are beyond that. We're all into our to our personal development. We're all into becoming our greatest versions. And release. Now inhale your right knee towards your chest. And take your right knee to the left. And set your gaze to the right for supine twist. This is a really good detoxifying pose detoxifying our minds, body, and spirit of all false realities, all false limitations. 
whatever toxins you might have in your body because you know maybe maybe you're a person that might have drank on the weekend or something like that which I know that some of the people that are in here with me right now aren't just as I'm not but if you are you're detoxifying your body right here right now any toxins sugar anything these these processes help to detoxify your body come back to center and release your right knee now inhale your left knee towards your left armpit give it a good squeeze take your left knee to the right as you set your gaze toward the left then your drishti just a little bit past your fingers and once again ringing out your spirit ringing out your soul ringing out this physical existence seeing through it all seeing through the programs and come back to center and release for final shavasana and very quickly before we go into the shavasana if you would like you can set up a prop for your head or for your legs because we're going to be moving from shavasana into yoga nidra so if you would like a prop now is the time to use use one as we release welcome to yoga nidra please find a comfortable position lying down on your back palms facing up and allow yourself to fully relax this is your time for deep relaxation while remaining awake and aware close your eyes gently as we begin start by becoming aware of your breath feel the natural flow of your breath deep inhales complete exhales with each breath out you're releasing tension, allowing yourself to sink deeper into relaxation. Deep breath in. And exhale. Relaxing and releasing. Deep breath in. And exhale. Relaxing and releasing. Now set your sankalpa a heartfelt intention which the intention for today is releasing the 3d matrix and welcoming in the 5d love feel the natural flow of your breath and repeat silently after me i am confident in all that i am and all that i do Feel the affirmation resonate within you. Repeat it silently a few more times, allowing it to sink into your consciousness. I am confident in all that I am and all that I do. Bring your awareness to the space between your eyebrows, your third eye center. Move your attention gently to various parts of your body as I guide you. Relax your jaw, left eyebrow, right eyebrow left eye right eye tip of the nose both lips together chin neck center of the chest right side of the chest right shoulder right elbow right wrist right thumb index finger middle finger 
Ring finger. Little finger. Right wrist. Right elbow. Right shoulder. Center of the chest. Left side of the chest. Left shoulder. Left elbow. Left wrist. Left thumb. Index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Little finger. Left wrist. Left elbow. Left shoulder. Center of the chest. Move your awareness through your torso. Right side of the waist. Upper abdomen. Left side of the waist. Lower abdomen. Pelvis. Right hip. Right thigh. Right knee. Right calf. Right ankle. Top of the right foot. Sole of the right foot. Right big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Little toe. Left ankle. Left calf. Left knee. Left thigh. Left hip. Pelvis. Left hip. Left thigh. Left knee. Left calf. Left ankle. Top of the left foot. Sole of the left foot. Left big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Little toe. Right ankle. Right calf. Right knee. Right thigh. Right hip. Pelvis. Stance both legs together. Now sense both arms. Your entire body as a whole. Feel as though your body is not connected to you. Feel your body as if it's light, weightless. As you float away from your body. Now experience the sensation of coming back to your body with heaviness in your legs your abdomen, chest, shoulders, arms, neck, and head. Feel your body grounded 
and sinking into the surface beneath you, melting. And now imagine a serene white light surrounding your body, creating a protective and calming space as you begin to drift away. We will now reprogram your subconscious mind out of fear and into love. Envision yourself standing in the midst of a world governed by the 3D matrix. Visualize the constructs of this reality. Patterns of fear, war, conflict, limitation, and uncertainty woven into the fabric of this false daily life. You create your own heaven or hell. The choice is yours. As the year draws to a close, recognize the power within you to release these old paradigms, these limited beliefs that confine your potential. With each breath, feel a sense of liberation as if you're shedding layers of the old reality. Repeat in your mind, the presence of God within me breaks all chains of anything that binds me. I no longer am a slave to fear, for I am one with Source. Now visualize the matrix code, the underlying program, the energy that is all around us as programs that have dictated this 3D existence, shimmering all around you. Hear the programming that's all around you and observe these codes as they flicker and transform into higher frequencies of love, compassion, and understanding. Visualize this beautiful loving codes reprogramming this whole entire earth as everyone on this earth is happy, healthy, and abundant, as are you. See yourself moving through this matrix, navigating through the shifting codes. Feel the resonance of love growing stronger within you, emanating from your heart center, spreading throughout your being like a radiant glowing light. This light is purifying and cleansing all of your energy centers as we speak. With each step, visualize yourself transcending the constraints of fear and limitation. Left foot, right foot. Just visualize yourself stepping and walking on this new bridge that is forming between your current reality and the elevated 5D love reality. And this 5D love reality is glowing a radiant violet light. Sense the shift occurring within and around you as you align with the vibrations of love, abundance, and harmony. 
Abundance is your birthright. You are an infinite being. Feel the joy and freedom that comes with releasing old ways of thinking and embracing this new, expansive reality. You are one with the universe. Energy cannot be destroy, destroyed or created. It just changes form. You are a microcosm of the macrocosm. You are this energy. The observer of your thoughts is God. As you continue this visualization, affirm to yourself, I am transitioning from the 3D matrix to the 5D love reality. I am transitioning from the 3D fear matrix to the 5D love reality. I am releasing all that limits me and embracing my highest potential. I am living in a beautiful simulation. I am divine consciousness and I am perfect as I am. I am not the ego. I am the observer of thoughts. Allowing these thoughts to just float into your mind. Just really accepting this truth and remembering who you really are. With a deep breath, bring your awareness back to the present moment. Feel the newfound sense of empowerment and optimism within you. Know that this transition is ongoing and with each passing moment you're aligning more with the frequencies of love and abundance. Have faith in I am. Faith is the eternal. To know I am is to be the I am. Wake up, Neo. Wake up to who you really are. You are pure loving awareness. Now shift your focus to your heart center. Feel love vibrating from every cell of your being. Breathe, trust the process, and embrace self-acceptance. Forgive yourself, acknowledge your worthiness, and feel confident radiating from within. Wake up to your true divine self. I am cannot be divided. I am is the self-definition of God. If your concept of yourself were different, everything in your outer reality would be different. Be still and know that you are God. As you float in this serene state, trust any insights or messages that arise. Connect with your inner wisdom, your inner truth. Trust what you see, sense, or feel. And take a moment in silent meditation, being open to receiving guidance and understanding. You are one with Source. You are powerful and magnificent. When you learn to love yourself, your outer world will become a mirror of that blissful state. Now gently start to return 
feeling a blanket of love wrapping around you. Feel the surface beneath you. Know that you're, you're always welcome here, a place to recharge and find inner peace. Slowly bring awareness back to your breath and your body. And then inhale your knees to your chest. And grab your knees and fall to one side for fetal position. This is the pose of new beginning. This is a new beginning for you and for this whole entire world. More and more people are starting to wake up to, to the true purpose of life. It's not to be worried, it's not to be stressed or trying to just survive, it's to thrive. The purpose of life is thriving. To live in a state of love and peace every single day in harmony. So whatever might be still lingering after this meditation we just did that is of your past limited beliefs, allow them to just let go onto your mat. And when you roll your mat up at the end of this session, it will no longer be in your life because you are pure loving awareness. Feel refreshed, rejuvenated, and confident. And carry this 5D energy with you as you move throughout your day. And whenever you feel comfortable, go ahead and meet me in seated position. Thank you so much for this amazing practice, everybody. And so we're going to close out with uh, another Aham Prima Chant Mantra, which stands for I am divine love. So Aham Prima. Go ahead and repeat after me for five counts. Aham Prima. Aham Prima. Aham Prima. Aham Prima. One more. Aham Prima. See how good it feels to realize that we are divine love. And now we'll close out with one ohm and three shantis. Bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale. Thank you so much everybody for showing up today. I hope that this helped to remove all them past limitations and allow it to just fall away with 2023 as we move into 2024 or whatever year you're watching this, just know that you're exactly where you're meant to be in this present moment. And I thank you and I hope that you feel the love that I feel in my heart for this whole entire world and that you can be the light. Go out there and be the light. Be the change you want to see in the world because you are the light. Namaste. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define if you're talking about what you think? Feel, smell, taste, see. But real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. This is the world as it exists today. You can have that feeling I'm not sure if you're right in the stage. I tried to free your mind, but I can only show you the door. You're the one who walked through. I imagine that right now, we can be a different house. Come down.
It is the wall that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth.